Hello. That's what we've got to do. It's the next chapter in the Doctor's life and it starts here. I'm Jenna and I play Clara. I'm Matt, I play one of the Doctors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm David and I play the Doctor. <laughs> There's something hugely exciting and thrilling about being part of a line that stretches back through time. There's a special handshake. Yeah. We can't share it. No, 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 again, it is, no, no, no. Please, not a word of anything you know about, not even to people you know and love and trust, because they will, in the end, betray you. <laughs> <laughs> the notion this was actually going to happen and that there was a script and a story and, and uh, a plan, it all happened relatively recently, actually. I've known for ages. We just used to lie, because they tell us to, by the way, not just because we're horrible, mean people. Draft. Fantasy Week in ancient Mesopotamia, followed by future Mars. Will there be cocktails? On the moon. Oh, the moon will do. What's happening? We're taking off. We're taking off. But the engines aren't going. <laughs> we shot in the middle of Trafalgar Square, and I went up 90 foot, so I saw all over London. Just one of the rare, brilliant things that you get with Who. He was harnessed up and was swinging. He almost knocked himself out, which I think is on camera, which they might use with the telephone as well. Ow! But the fact is, if you hang a police box from a crane in the middle of Trafalgar Square, people are going to kind of figure out what show you're doing. That's, that's going to be Doctor Who, isn't it? It couldn't be much more public. Uh, I scripted in the idea that there were onlookers being held behind barriers, because I knew there would be. 